Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a practice test for the math section of the HESI A2 exam. The seven questions that I will be giving you today are all taken from Memetrics University, which is a great online course that Memetrics has put out. So I will be linking that below for you guys in case you're interested in checking it out and learning a little bit more information about that as well. I do have a whole playlist of videos related to taking the HESI A2 exam, and I will put that up here for you guys if you're interested in seeing that. I also have another playlist on taking the T's test as well. So you guys can check those playlists out if you're interested in those. So without further ado, let's jump right into those questions. I'm going to first give you the questions with the answer options, and then we will get into the answers to all of those seven questions. All right, so question number one. Add and express in reduced form 14 over 33 plus 10 over 11. The answer options are A, 2 over 11, B, 6 over 11, C, 4 over 3, and D, 44 over 33. Go ahead and pause the video here to take some time to answer this question, and when you're ready, you can move on. Question number two. Subtract and express in reduced form. 43 over 45 minus 11 over 15. Your answer options are A, 14 over 45, B, 16 over 15, C, 32 over 20, and D, 2 over 9. You can pause the video here to take some time to answer this question, and when you're ready, move on to question number three. Question number three. Multiply and reduce 54 over 55 times 5 over 9. Your answer options are A, 59 over 64, B, 270 over 400, B, 270 over 495, C, 6 over 11, and D, 5 over 9. Go ahead and pause the video here, and when you're ready, you can move on to question number four. Question number four, divide and reduce. Four over 13 divided by 27 over 169. Your answer options are A, 52 over 27, B, 51 over 27, C, 52 over 29, and D, 51 over 29. Go ahead and pause the video here, and when you're ready, you can move on to question number five. Question number five. What number is MCDXXXII? So you need to convert this Roman numeral, and your answer options are A, 142, B, 1,642, C, 1,632, or D, 1,432. You can go ahead and pause the video here, and when you're ready, move on to question number six. Question number six. Convert 2 over 9 to a percentage. Your answer options are A, 22%, B, 4.5%, C, 450%, or D, 0.22%. Go ahead and pause the video if you need some time, and when you're ready, move on to question number seven. Question number seven. What is the perimeter of the figure below? Note that the solid outer line is the perimeter. Your answer options are 48.565 inches, B, 36.565 inches, C, 39.78 inches, or D, 39.565 inches. Go ahead and take some time to look at this picture, and you can pause the video here to work out this problem, and when you're ready, we will move ahead with the answers to these seven questions. The answer to question number one is C, four over three. So first, you set up the problem and find a common denominator for both fractions. Then, you're going to multiply each fraction across by 1 to convert to a common denominator. Once you're over the same common denominator, you add across the top. The total is over the common denominator. 
Then you'll reduce the fraction by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 11. And as you can see, you have the whole problem here worked out for you in the answer. So if you want to take some time to look at this, you can pause the video here. The answer to question number two is D, two over nine. First, you set up the problem and find a common denominator for both fractions. Then, you'll multiply each fraction across by one to convert to a common denominator. Once you're over the same denominator, subtract across the top. Finally, you're going to reduce the fraction. Again, if you want to take some time to look at this problem, go ahead and pause the video here. The answer to question number three is C, six over 11. First, you're going to line up the fractions. Then you'll reduce the fractions through cross canceling, as you can see in this answer explanation. Finally, you're going to multiply across the top and across the bottom. Moving on to the answer for question number four. The answer to question number four is A, 52 over 27. First, in this problem, you'll set up the division problem. Then you'll flip the second fraction and multiply. Next, you'll simplify and reduce by cross multiplication, as you can see here in this answer explanation. And finally, you'll multiply across the top and across the bottom to solve. The answer to question number five is D, 1,432. So first, you break down the Roman numerals into parts. M is equal to 1,000. C is before D and is smaller than D, so it means D minus C. So C, D together is 500 minus 100, which equals 400. Then you'll add the following. The three X's in a row are each X is equal to 10, so it's 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30. The two I's together, um, each I equals one, so one plus one equals two. And then finally, you add all of those parts. So 1,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus two equals 1,432. Moving on to question number six. The answer to question number six is A, 22%. Converting from a fraction to a percentage generally involves two steps. First, the fraction needs to be converted to a decimal. Divide two by nine, which results in 0 0.22 with a line on top. That top line indicates that the decimal actually goes on forever with an endless amount of twos. Second, the decimal needs to be moved two places to the right. So that's 22%. Now moving on to question number seven answer. The answer to question number seven is B. 36.565 inches. The figure is composed of three sides of a square and a semicircle. The sides of the square are simply added. Eight plus eight plus eight equals 24 inches. The circumference of a circle is found by this equation. Circumference equals two times pi times radius. The radius is four inches, so the circumference of the circle is 25.13 inches. Only half of the circle makes up the outer border of the figure, which is part of the perimeter. So half of 25.13 is 12.565 inches. Therefore, the total perimeter is 24 inches plus 12.565 inches equals 36.565 inches. The other answer choices use the incorrect formula or fail to include all of the necessary sides. All right, so how did you guys do today on that math quiz? You can go ahead and drop a comment below to let me know. I hope that this was helpful for you as you're preparing for the HESI exam. If you guys enjoyed this video today, you can go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content similar to this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.